Hello, my name is Randall Shane, and the objective of this video is to demonstrate the use of Kafka with Flume as a consumer and HDFS as the Flume sync. As you can see, I've opened eight tabs, um, each of them a terminal window on an Ubuntu 16.10 server with Hadoop, Zookeeper, Kafka, and Flume installed. Also, I'm running Python 3.5 and I've got the Python script up, which I'll show you in a moment to give you kind of an idea of, of what I did. Um, so to recap the purpose, um, we're taking a Python script and we'll pull data from Twitter, a Twitter stream, which will be the Kafka producer. Um, connect to the Kafka producer. The Kafka consumer will then receive the tweets the tweets are then subscribed to by the Flume by Flume as a source of data for Flume. There's no transformation that occurs during this phase, but um, but there, keep in mind there could be. And then the data is moved um, from Flume uh, via the memory channel to uh, the HDFS file system, and we will demonstrate all of that. So first I'll show you that. Um, there are not any files in the current directory, the HDFS uh, file system, user flume sync data. There's no data in there. Then I make sure that Hadoop and um, Zookeeper are both running. And um, port 2181 is being monitored. And on this particular system, that's the way you determine um, if Zookeeper is running or not. Run JPS, and we can see the Hadoop uh, daemons are all running running. Um, we go to the Kafka server tab and we will start the Kafka server. The Kafka server is now running. We go to the consumer tab. In the Kafka consumer, this is the way you start it. You tell it uh, which zookeeper um, local host 2181 will be uh, um, um, coordinating with the um, Kafka consumer and, and storing the metadata. And the topic um, this is a topic that I created earlier called data and the consumer will be placing its data in the data topic <laughs> and I, um, this is not something that's by default um, I created the topic named data earlier so we'll go ahead and start off the consumer and so now um, Kafka is listening um, for messages from the producer on port 2181 um, and it is um, relaying those messages to the topic data. Okay, before we start Flume, we'll go over the co uh, configuration file real quick. You'll see that um, it lists the sources, channels, and sinks. Each one of them, these are just aliases here, so the alias for sources is source1, and for channels, channel1, and sync1, etc. So, for sources, the type is um, Kafka. So you can see that the type for, for the source is Kafka. Uh, the Zookeeper Connect, these are required um, properties that must be set if you use Kafka as a source. And um, it, the documentation, the Apache documentation details that. And um, you can see that it's looking at port 2181 on local host. Um, the topic it's going to be looking at is data or where it'll be um, getting data from. Um, the consumer it'll be getting data from. Um, the flume is a default um, group ID. That's not anything that I created. It's something that um, is just the default. But if you wanted to have multiple groups with multiple topics, you could do so and then have different agents running for each of those as we discussed in the previous post. Here you can see channel one is associated with a type and it's a type memory. So the, um, the source is Kafka, the channel is uh, memory, and the sync in this case is HDFS. With Flafka, the way we talked about it before, um, the sync was Kafka and um, um, Flume could be receiving its source um, as a Twitter feed, but we're just flipping it around to show the agility and, and uh, flexibility of this particular framework and architecture. So um, 
the sync for Flume will be HDFS and it will store its data in this directory uh, using the file type data stream and it'll save it with the suffix of a CSV. So we'll go ahead and start the Flume agent. Here's the command that you need to get that started. Um, it's bas basically it's the flume that hyphen ng agent and then you tell it where the configuration file is this flume sync.com file and you tell it the name of the agent and it's agent one and this log information just tells it to send the um, log any log information to the console so we'll go ahead and start that up so now we have um, the Kafka server running, we have the consumer running, we have Flume running, and now we just need to kick off a Python script that will take the Twitter feed um, and provide it as a, um, a producer or source of data for Kafka. And here we, you can see I've got Python 3, Python 3.5 installed, um, and the name of the script is Twitter underscore Kafka underscore direct. I'm sorry, I don't think that is. Producer is the correct one, I'm sorry. Um, Twitter underscore Kafka underscore producer dot PY. And we will kick off the script. And now at this point, we should be receiving tweets on the Kafka consumer. We'll go back and look, and sure enough, indeed, there are tweets coming in from Twitter and you'll notice that um, there's not a whole lot of them coming in real fast but the ones that are coming in um, tend to be of a similar topic um, they have um, data in them they have analytics in them words analytics and data uh, hashtag data hashtag analytics um, Ivanka Trump I'm not sure what client pulled that particular one um, can't see the word that it would have pulled on uh, data but anyway the the point being is that um, as I'll show you in a moment that the Python script um, is filtering the data even further um, Twitter itself um, has this one thing called uh, firehose 1% where it um, provides you a 1% sampling of the tweets and um, you know to keep you from inundating your your um, equipment or your front um, infrastructure but um, on top of that I'm filtering it even further by uh, making sure that all of the tweets are in English um, and also that um, it's only that they have specific keywords that, that I'm looking for so we've got everything in place the Kafka server zookeeper the consumer Kafka consumer uh, Flume is using the Kafka consumer as its source and it's piping it to the HDFS through memory um, um, into the file system. So now if we go here and look at the file system in HDFS and you'll see that files are now collecting um, that are full of tweets that are running coming in through the consumer. So that's how it works. and. As far as the Python script, here's a quick look um, at this. Um, basically, you use two packages, Tweepy and PyKafka. There are several Kafka pa packages if you want to look at different ones, and obviously several ways of, of accessing Twitter data. Um, here's the, a class uh, for the uh, Twitter um, listener that was defined in Python and I will show you down here in the main class um, you create a client and it says okay the client is localhost 9092 and that is the Kafka broker client and that's set up during the configuration of Kafka but um, that is actually the broker um, occasionally I, I get turned around and I'll say uh, 2181 is the broker but it's not that's the listener for Zookeeper, 9092 is the broker, the Kafka broker itself. And as you can see in some of the diagrams from the uh, um, post, um, some of the figures show the broker 
that's what they're referring to there's that local host 9092 um, then it shows that the topic is client.topics is data and again that's the data topic that I created um, that Flume is monitoring to get its data and you can see that it's binary um, with that B there that indicates that it's binary data and there's some encoding or decoding that's going on up here to convert that to string data um, and here we create an instance of the standard out listener class and here is the authorization information for Twitter to allow me to um, uh, pull down tweets uh, this these um, keys here are bogus so don't bother trying to copy them or anything if you want to try this uh, it, it's really easy to do to get these keys the tokens uh, you go to my app um, um, on the Twitter developer website and create your app and it um, you give it a name and they give you the the um, token and secret tokens that you need to uh, to establish a, a secure or a connection really so here we're uh, streaming is we're starting the stream here um, sending it the object um, of the class uh, Twitter class and the authorization information and here's the filter that I was referring to we're filtering the stream that's coming in and setting it to where the language is only English and um, the track um, we're tracking data analytics big data big data with no space and hashtag our stats I just threw in there for fun so that's the the script that's kicking all this off and making it work and if we go back and look it should all still be running we're still collecting data there's more files building up and if we go back to the consumer there's still tweets and there's data and data and probably most of them are going to be data and big data analytics but um, again this is just to filter it down into um, um, you know smaller chunks of data so I don't get inundated with the, on my system here so that hopefully um, is a adequate demonstration to help you um, or not to help you but to uh, um, so that we can communicate I'm communicating more clearly um, um, the concepts and how they interact with one another and hopefully it's been of some value all right talk to you later thanks